Aloha! Welcome back to Newtown Brew. Uh, this is part two of the making of the pineapple wine. So if you haven't seen the first part, then go and check it out. It's in the playlist now. Um, but this is the part two. So let's have a bit of a catch up. We boiled up the uh, pineapples, added all the bits and bobs, and it's been sat in a um, food grade bucket with a lid on. Uh, not airtight, so this stage of the fermentation is uh, a stage of uh, aerobatic fermentation, which is a stage of fermentation where air is present, so it says in the new uh, wine book. Uh, so I had to leave it in there a week to let it start ferm fermenting in there. I had to stir it every day for a week just to keep the yeast, I'm guessing, uh, into into the uh, you know brew so it doesn't settle down at the bottom. And today we're going to rack it into a demijohn, put an airlock on it and then let it ferment out. Uh, so for this job we've got just demijohn which I'm sterilising with star sand. Uh, this is the pineapple mixture in here and I'm using a siphon just to get it in here. Um, for those of you that are probably thinking it's a bit of a faff, why don't you just put a funnel on here and just pour it from the bucket into here. Uh, well. I don't want to get air into it. Same with your beers. Um, wants to be um, siphoned into the demijohn carefully so you're not filling it with air. I uh, don't want to get any infections. So let's crack on with it. So this will be the first proper look I've had a look at it. If that made any sense. Uh, nothing floating on the top so that's a good sign now smelling at it it smells uh, like pineapple which is good so it's not got rid of that uh, that pineapple uh, smell to it with the fermentation it smells sweet so so this is this is all turning out well it's uh, the recipe is is doing what it says in the book so let's put the lid back on it loosely so nothing drops in it and uh, let's sort the siphon out and uh, let's get it in right I've uh, got the end of the siphon in there curled around the bottom and uh, I'm just going to flip the lid off a little bit hard with one hand one off your bloody thing there we go right in with the siphon let's start this bad boy up all one handed that's it So yeah, after we've racked it into the demijohn and we've got the airlock on, uh, just got to let it do its thing fermenting. Leave it till it's finished fermenting, then uh, add your cabin tablet and your potassium sorbate. That'll be part three. And, um, and then leave it to clear. And then the most important part will be the tasting. So let's get back to this. Well that's it, Demijohn's full. Uh, a tip I would uh, give you when you're putting uh, any liquid into um, something like this that doesn't have any markings on it is fill it with a gallon and then mark uh, on the on the bin like that and then when you're filling it up to get your gallon you know where you're aiming for so it's obviously worked um, because I've got my gallon. I know it's a simple thing, um, probably everyone does it, but uh, just for those of you that, um, that are new to it or anything like that, you know, just a bit of a tip. The yeast that it's left is a real nice creamy, really nice creamy uh, yeast bed that's been left. 
so uh, got a bit of a ring as well so it's it's definitely been doing its thing so let's get this uh, with an airlock and let's get it in the brew room right so we've got it into the damage on now uh, before we put the airlock on it we're going to just do a hydrometer test I've actually pulled the sample and uh, just to see if it has uh, fermented all the way through so let's have a look and there you go look if you can see it's but uh, zero, 0.00 is, is sort of just below the line of the um, of the juice so there look 1.00 is sat directly on it actually so it's fermented all the way through just needs to clear so yeah although it says it's uh, finished fermenting just going to leave it with the airlock on just to see if anything happens uh, over the next couple of days and if I get no activity um, then I shall finish it off with a cabin tablet and potassium sorbate and then just let it clear so anyway um, pulled the sample for the hydrometer and uh, instead of putting it back in I'm just going to give it just a bit of a, a whirl now just to see where we're, where we're shooting for when it's ready so it's still going to be green uh, it's cloudy but let's give it a go so you definitely get the pineapple it hasn't took away um, any of the pineapple smell um, the banana wine you got a hint of banana but uh, it's not as uh, powerful as this uh, the smell so let's let's give it a whirl Mm. You definitely get taste the pineapple, and it has a hint of sweetness to it. It's not as sweet as I was, I was expecting. It is quite dry, uh, but you still get that um, still get that taste of uh, of, of like uh, sweet pineapple. It's all right. It's good. I think when it's done, it'll be perfect. So there we go. That's the pineapple wine wrapped. Just going to keep an eye on the airlock. It's doing a bit of bubbling, but it uh, could be just some uh, residual CO2 that's sort of been knocked out of the uh, juice from uh, or the wine, just from moving it about. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. And if it doesn't do anything in the next sort of couple of days, two or three days, then I'll put the cabinet tablet in and the potassium sorbet so that's it that's it give it a whirl if you haven't seen part one check part one out and uh, and that's it keep safe guys keep on brewing don't forget to leave your comments and questions below like the video thumbs up please and if you haven't already subscribe all right see you later guys cheers